What's happening, YouTube? It's Alan the Ginger with a cock of red and the balls of fury, and today's serious topic is going to be abortion. But before we get into the topic, this is my buddy Justin's gameplay. I hated playing Black Ops when it first came out, and he fucking loved it. So I have no Black Ops gameplays in my file share, so I thought I'd bone off of him. Hope you guys enjoy this gameplay. Let's hop into this topic, abortion. A lot of girls hate to hear the word abortion, so they call it the A word. I'm not sure why the hell they do that, but I guess this is a girl thing. And remember guys, when I do these topics on the serious side, I don't want to do it to offend anybody. It's just my true opinion on how I feel about this stuff. So I do believe in abortion, and I'm going to give you some reasons why I don't think it's murder. Now before I got into this commentary, I went online and I looked up some stuff about abortions. And I got some pretty good information. If you want, I can link that in the description so you guys can check this shit out. So you don't think I'm making this stuff up. But pretty much what it's saying is abortion isn't murder. I'll read you a line of this stuff so you can get an idea of what it says. Those who think abortion should be generally illegal often use the terms unborn child or unborn baby. According to Webster's Dictionary and Black Medical Dictionary, the world child can apply prior to birth. But both of these sources employ the the word baby only from the point of birth onwards. So what that's saying is, if the baby has not been born yet, then you're not really killing anything because it's not considered a baby because the word baby means from the point of birth onwards. That's some pretty crazy stuff, you ask me. The technical term means if it hasn't been born then it's not considered anything. It's not even considered a fetus, as what it says later on to the paragraph. But I kind of disagree with it because you are killing something. I'm not sure what you'd even call it. If you read that paragraph, there's not really a name it gives out. You could call it. So go check this stuff out and look at it. You guys can see what I'm looking at. It's pretty crazy, I think. And then you read on the page and it says a science fact. And it says the average length of a full term pregnancy is 38 weeks. Normally use a figure of 40 weeks, but this is actually the time between the first day and the last menstrual period and childbirth. On average, the first day of the last menstrual period occurs two weeks before fertilization. So what that's saying is, between those two weeks that you think you might have got pregnant, and those two weeks, that's your time to decide if you want to have an abortion or not. So if you you have sex and you get wake up in morning sickness, Go get a pregnancy test, go to the clinic, go to Walmart. I think Dollar Store or some shit might even have those. Just go down there and get one. If it says you're pregnant, then you need to ask the guy that you're with if he wants to keep the kid or not. And if he says no and you don't think you can handle it in your life, go to the doctor and tell him what your decision is. And you don't think you can handle a kid right now in your life because you're too young. But then you have some people's parents that find out about it and they make them keep the kid. And then the kid doesn't really want to keep the baby because they want to have their life to live. I'm going to link the teen pregnancy video to this. But 60% of the births in the United States is unplanned. That's pretty crazy. But everybody has three options. you got adoption, abortion, and parenting. Adoption is a good choice if you don't want to keep the kid on your own you would judge somebody else that can't have kids that have tried for months even years to have them and can't help them out give them a baby if you don't want to keep it you might be too young to raise it and they're ready for one because they're in their 20s or 30s but if you don't have a certain family picked out already whenever you have the baby at the hospital if you refuse not to see the baby because you think you might be attached to it they'll clean the baby up once you have it They'll take it, get it ready, dress it, and they'll keep it in the hospital for like two or three days like they usually do to make sure it has all of the, you know, like everything's right with it. It's using the bathroom and it's eating and stuff. They'll let you get cleaned up and you might have to sit there for a day or two maybe. But if they don't, they'll let you go home and then the, the new family will come pick the baby up. But if there's not a family lined up with it, they'll just take it to the adoption center. They'll keep it there and they'll raise a the kid herself and it'll have all the things it needs just in case you don't have the money to raise a kid. And then there's abortion, which has a cost between $500 to $2,000, which you have to pay for the ultrasound and the morning after pill, which is the birth control pill. And then there's parenting, which is very expensive. You have to buy the babies everything, which is food, clothes, the crib, the car seat, diapers, bottles, formula, everything, clothes. I mean, the list goes on. It has to have everything. I mean, it's like, it's $2,000 a month to have a baby. But then, a year 
is between twelve to twenty four thousand. And what I've heard over my entire life about my parents and my grandparents and other people's parents, it takes about a million dollars to raise a kid. And that's not including say you live in like a like a higher place like California or something and you pay for the kid to go to like a private school. That's even more money a year just to make sure your kid has the best education possible. But parenting is a really good choice, especially if you want to do it. But there's a lot of people that shouldn't be parents. They're just straight up dicks or bitches to their kid. They treat them terrible. I mean, everybody knows those people. So you probably even know somebody that's like that. But this is abortion and parenting, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave it a like, favorite, and email you subscribe if you haven't. Peace out, guys.